So I'm right here with the fabric. This is the powder and this is the intensifier. But as I said, I'm not going to use the intensifier right now because it's kind of dangerous. So, um, yeah, you have to be in very well ventilated area. So I'm not going to use it right now. And for this powder, I have a little bit of container that uh, zip locks like that. So I will be able to contain it there uh, later. Let me just... So I'm supposed to bring this into a boil. As I said, I don't want to use too much. So I'm going to shake it down. I'm trying to get the dye go down. I'm going to make a small incision with the scissors. Up. I'm going to cut up. Actually, I'm going to cut the top because this way I will be able to just take a tiny bit with this little thing. Ew, it smells so badly. I just tested it. So I have all the hair here ready to be picked and used. I'm first gonna do the white ones as I said. Okay, it starts to shimmer a little bit. So, oh God, that thing smells so badly. So let me just try to take a little bit of dye. I don't want to put too much because I have to. Okay. Maybe I should put a little more. I don't know. So when I'm ready to do that, I have to do it really fast. I'm gonna dip them all at once in there. So, I'm here with the results. I just use the eye dye poly with color intensifier. Um, this, this is where I just keep the rest of it. I put it in another container. And I didn't use the, the color intensifier because it says that you need to be in a very well ventilated area in order for this to be, um, you know, for you not to have any problems because you're not supposed to inhale it and all, another stuff. So, this little thing here, uh, it was not pure white when I just in, in submerged it inside. You know, you can see that it's, this is uh, whiter than that. This is like silver because it's the one that I used in the previous video. And I have submerged it in there for like literally one second. I did like submerge and take it out like that, literally. And you can see that the color turned next to the silver quite um i cannot say the color like it's like a really pale chocolate or something this was left in for eight seconds and you can see the difference this is pure white this is after it's dyed with this brown dye this was left about 15 seconds this was uh, about 40 seconds and this was left more than one minute and as I repeat I didn't use the color intensifier so look at the difference I mean if it can turn white into this dark brown I'm sold this is a very 
beautiful dark solid brown it's not a shade that i would choose because if you put it in the white paper you kind of think that it has too much uh, warm tones too much red in there but if you see it next to the previous ones like I can see some slight difference between these two, 40 seconds and one minute or more, I don't remember exactly, but this was left for more than one minute into boiling water. And this is the 15 seconds, there's an obvious difference, you can see that this was about 8 seconds, huge difference of course, you can see that. And yeah, even that is even less, which was like one second. So this dye also, when I just uh, uh, removed the hair from the water, uh, it got, uh, I left it for like 10 minutes soaking. I didn't uh, do anything on that. And then I just went in there in the bathroom to just wash it. And I wanted to wash it with uh, the soap in order to see, the, sorry, with the hair shampoo to see how it's going to uh, be if it's going to be color fast there was absolutely no color in the water literally th this is as color fast as it can be the water was running crystal clear so i just took the time and submerged the rest of the hair that i had inside the solution and there are kind of mixed feelings about that first of all they didn't all uh die the same this is this used to be a 613 if you can see and this was the one that accidentally fell more in there but the end look at that i mean let me just take the the more it is oh i also left all these a little more than one minute so look at that the white got literally dyed so dark and this one didn't and this was the 613 i guess it's not um uh, Maybe the dye they use to dye this this color because I think they are all white and then they dye to the color that they want. Maybe this is why I didn't let the, the dye sink very well. I mean, there is an obvious difference between this and this. 613 and this is like a, a number 12 or something. I don't know. And no, it's lighter than 12. This is 12 and this is... This could be like 18 or something. So it's weird. It didn't dye this very well. Very weird. This, this is Japanese high heat. All of these are Japanese high heat resistant fibers. This is number. Let me just see. This is this is the 22, the weird 22, and I can say that it got dyed so nicely. Look at that. You can hardly see any difference between these two. This is a little bit more uh, reddish brown, and it's the, in the white, and this is more solid brown. And it's in this color. It's obvious. It's not going to be exactly the same. But you can hardly tell the difference. Look at that. So this died very well. This is... Is this the one that I like? Yeah, this is the 24, actually. The chocolate 20... Sorry, 22. This is the other 22, which is a little bit more... Golden, like if I can say that. This didn't die very well. Look at the difference. This is lighter than that and, the, and i just took them all in and submerged them and then took them out all at once so it doesn't make sense because where's the white this white is the one that's more dyed look at that you can literally see that this took the dye much better than that which is weird but it's color fast it doesn't bleed i washed it with the shampoo so much that i mean i washed it like two three times to make sure that it's not going to shed any color and it didn't um this is number 12 i didn't see huge difference between the two sorry there is a difference and it's more of a, of a brown this is more brown this is less this is more of a, like a burgundy brown or red or something um this is very good actually but the two colors were very close to each other so i didn't expect anything less than that this is the 24 strangely the 24 didn't die very well i don't know why i could run more tests but i don't think it's necessary i don't know and this is the huge failure this is the red actually it turned more like a dark red a wine red you see the difference i like this color i hate this color so i think it's a good outcome i don't know it's not that bad maybe because all this hair, 
all these hairs used were used in my previous uh, testing video so maybe the previous dye job did alter their their ability to be dyed but they're all equally the same dyed why did this die so well and this didn't and this died so well and this didn't they were all in the previous video and some of them were dyed so nicely these were all new except this one these were all new and you saw the differences so i think that it's good the dye is very good it actually worth the money and the rest of the color that i had i keep it inside a container because i didn't throw it away because it still has the ability to dye hair and if it's not as powerful i can just add a little bit of dye, uh, dye there and do the job and i also didn't measure how much i put in there i just put a little bit of scoop and it died so nicely and so well so i'm really glad for that hooray you want to get, get the eye dye poly for polyester and all synthetics if i used the intensifier i'm sure the color would have been pretty much better if not more intense or whatever i didn't use it i do plan to use it in the future so yeah um that's it thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos